Only on 7, a woman claims a violent encounter with Detroit police left her badly injured, and she is sharing the video that shows what went down. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargin is at police headquarters tonight with the fallout. We're told DPD has launched an internal investigation. One officer was put on desk duty and his gun taken away. All the other officers who were there that night are being investigated. We have to warn you, the video you're about to see is really hard to watch. <laughs> Ashley Sim says all she wanted in this moment was help. She was at a block party near Central and Warren around 2 a.m. Sunday morning when police came to break it up. That's when like all like it just all the chaos broke out and the guy he punched me and I had fell to the ground. When I fell to the ground, I just hurried up and grabbed my phone because I was it was crazy to me and I knew I had to record it because it was just so much going on. Sims says police were directing the crowd one way, but her car was parked in the opposite direction. She tried walking towards the car and says that's when a male officer socked her in the mouth. What's your name? Ain't me, baby. Sims says she was trying to tell officers that one of their own had hit her. Here you see Sims fall to the ground. She says she was pushed. And then I couldn't get up, but I didn't know my pelvis was fractured. You know, I just knew I couldn't really move. And then that's when the lady officer pushed me over. A female officer is seen forcefully rolling Sims over and yelling at her to get up. Get up! This is all while she's screaming and pleading for help. She gonna push me over like that was wrong. That is so bold. I don't know. I'm so scared of the police. I see the police. I'm going the other way because they crazy. Like mm -mm. DPD says per their policy, they opened an investigation. Sims' mother says she went to the 10th precinct to file a report but was initially stiff-armed. They both are calling for accountability. I did not deserve that. They assaulted me for no reason. I was unarmed. I wasn't doing nothing to nobody. I did not hurt nobody. You know, they need to go to jail. They need to be arrested and charged for what they did. Doctors told Sims she'll need to be in a wheelchair for the next two months. She has four stitches in her mouth, but she's glad it wasn't worse. I'm black, you know. I got more chance of dying than a regular person. Like, they'll kill me, and then they know it's going to get swept under the rug. And the fact that I made it out alive, I'm going to be the one. Like, I'm, that's they, what they did was wrong. What they did was wrong, especially that lady. Sims has retained attorney Todd Perkins, and she says she plans to press charges against each officer who assaulted her. The investigation is ongoing, but at this point, they say no officers are facing charges. In Detroit, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News.